Say yes to new beginnings. Yes. Say yes to new standards of excellence. Yes. Say yes to engage in reportage with a difference. Yes. Introducing Yes International Magazine. Um, Which of the stations do you have some oh. memory of and why? Uh, which of the stations do I have sad memory and why? Ah, oh, you're taking me back now. Okay, so that was, um, you know, when I moved from, from Rock City FM, station manager, I moved to um, Wave FM in Port Harcourt. That's where I had one of the craziest memories of, of mine. I, that's why I, I got married. You know, while I was there, I met my husband. We got married and all of that. And he took ill and he died, you know, and all of that. So those, those, those are crazy memories for me. But it still didn't um, take away from the fact that that was a wonderful place to also work. There were wonderful people there. And I was able to make a lot of friends. And many of them still keep contact with me today. So as I said, from one to the other, there are so many things that, um, that, that one can talk about. Uh, all right. Now, talking about your, 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 your late, your late uh, husband, how do mm. you deal with the grief, the trauma, the pain, and... and, and ah. the... <laughs> how, how did I feel? Uh, it's not a feeling that you're able to describe. That's the truth. Mm. You can't describe it. You can't stop grieving. Even when you find yourself that you're remarrying, it will still always take you back. It was a crazy moment, and um, that's not what I wish on, on uh, even my enemy. But you know what life has taught me? Um, his death just brought to the fore that nothing is certain. That's the truth. Nothing is certain. You're okay now. You have no idea what's going to happen the next minute. So we need to also understand that while you're planning for tomorrow, make the best use of what you have today. Mm. It is crazy, but you have to understand that. So that's the way that I say it, because the next minute is not even guaranteed. Wow. wow. So what, what, what do you miss most about him? I know you miss a lot of things about him, but what, what do you miss about him? What do I miss about him? Um, most about him most about him um my husband used to fight for me he never wanted you to do it if you try rubbish let me use the local palace he says that but is this person trying to try rubbish with you he's always there and he says what do you want me to do and i said no you don't have to continue like this so he was very protective that's the truth and sometimes i miss all of that you know when you sometimes when we have to have those little quarrels that we have at home and this one is going to this room the other one is going to that room yes i'm going to make food for you to eat i'm not going to talk to you that's the truth there was some crazy thing that we used to do when I, I i'm in the bathroom he's standing by the door it doesn't matter whether i'm doing the one or i'm doing two he's just standing there he says look that's what life is about and when he's taking his bath he wants me to stand by the door also so that we can get to talk i remember saying to him why do you have to make me use the same towel with you? He said, well, that's what marriage is about. I said, okay, forgive me, I'm going to say this on this live video. I said, so how do I know the part of the towel that you have used to clean your bum? <laughs> and he says, he says, it doesn't matter. I said, oh my God. And I never used to share towels. But he says, look, we have to use it. Even if it means we're going to wash it every three days. So we'll throw it to the washing machine and we get to wash it. So I said to him, so you've used that side to wash clean down and I'm going to use it on my face. He said, well, that's what marriage is about. So I miss all of that. You know, you just, I'm just myself. I was just myself around him. You know, some get married and you can't even fart where your husband is. But for us, it was just there. Just be yourself. In fact, when he does it, sometimes there's a competition and we're like, who's going to fart more? And, you know, it was, it was just... <laughs> It was just beautiful. Okay. 
can you remember or recollect his last word you know to you before he he, he passed <sighs> um I can't say I can. I, I won't say I can. I, I can put a tab on that. There were so many moments. Everything kept flashing. I just remember one time that we had um, we had this little squabble in the because at some point he started being very how do I put it now? Things were beginning to go wrong when he talks he's getting angry oh i don't want to sleep with drip don't put the drip and i'm like you're gonna have this drip all through the night and that's why i'm here the nurses will come fix it but he never ever likes to sleep, go you know the drip to stay overnight so i will have to beg and all of that so one time we had this quarrel we talked he was very angry with me and all of that and he said things and i was just trying to pick my bag my things to go back home and wash and bring those things back so as i was leaving he said i hope you're not leaving me in the hospital and i looked at him i said no how will i do that i'm just going home to wash i'll be back but i need to give you space because you're just getting on my nerves and i just left and walked away finished what i had to do made food come back you know so that wasn't a time for you to get angry it just it was just a wonderful experience i made sure that we had great time and all of that so i want to just put those memories uh, behind me and that's that's why i just have to let things lie low